Hello and welcome to PDL News here in Jackson. Today we're reporting on a story about some strange lights that happened in this field behind me here last night. And we'll be talking to Jeb Tucker, who apparently eyewitnessed what went on. As you can see, the soil seems to be a slightly different colour than over there to there, like a stain. But it's the shape of the stain that's strange. Now you can't really see it from down here, so Jimmy, could you run that drone footage that we took earlier so they can get a better look? So you can see from the aerial photographs that the area is very large and it, it is a Pacific shape, the stain on the ground. Now I'm not saying what shape that looks like to me, but... And apparently the stains on the ground happened just after the lights last night. So anyway, let's go talk with Jeb Tucker at his home, who's lived around these parts all his life and farms this land, and see what he has to say. So what happened last night, Jeb? Well, yeah, it was... It was kind of late last night, and all of a sudden, Ethel made some hell of a racket. Ethel? Who's Ethel? Now, she's just one of my chickens here. She's a pretty smart chicken. She don't normally make a noise unless the old rooster's giving her real... Jeb? Then what happened? Anyways, I go outside, have a look, and I see in the small field loads of lights and noise. So I thought maybe I'll go down and take a look. And what did you see? Well, I saw this great big spaceship and these people dressed in white, white helmets, running around, shooting their space guns all over. They didn't spot you? No, no, I was hiding behind a little old juniper bush. Yeah, carry on. Then all of a sudden, a guy dressed in black come out of the ship and waved his arm like this, and they all filed in line and went straight into the ship. Then the ship just disappeared. Well, apart from that stain on the ground, yeah, Jib, you worked the land all your life. You know the soil. What do you think that stain might be? Do you know what I think it is? I think it's spaceship shit. Tell me, Jib, you have some good moonshine around here? Hell, people come 500 miles for our moonshine around here. I thought that might be the case. Anyway, thank you for your time, Jib, and you take it easy. You don't be a stranger now, boy. Well, I think maybe that uh, some moonshine last night helped that story along. <laughs> Just my opinion. Anyway, still doesn't explain the stain on the ground, and we'll keep you posted on that, and if you hear anything, we'll let you know. So this is Brad Pankerhead, PDL News, Jackson, Wyoming. What? What?